Hey there, welcome to our SolidWorks drawing course. This is an introduction to drawing, and let's start by making a drawing from a part or assembly. I'm going to uncheck Only Show Standard Formats. Now let's select a paper size. I'll use B, Landscape, and let's click OK. On the right-hand side of our screen, I've got the View Palette open. To close it, just click anywhere in the graphic area's empty space. To open it again, click the View Palette button. It's right on top of the Appearances button. At the top of the View Palette, we've got a drop-down menu. Here we can select from any open documents. We can also click the Browse button to select from any documents we have on our computer. I'm going to select the top view and then just drag it in. When I let go of the left mouse button, it's placed on our drawing sheet. It doesn't matter how the part is oriented in your part or assembly document. Now let's continue dragging our mouse up. Now we'll get a top view. Drag the mouse down for a bottom view. Here's a side view. The other side view. And drag out this way for an isometric view. Let's accept. Let's go to the tree on the left hand side of the screen. Here's our drawing view, drawing view 1. When I expand the Views node, I see the part that the view is based on, in my case, Part 1. To delete the view, just select it in the graphic area and press Delete on your keyboard. We're asked to confirm. Let's click Yes. Let's open the View palette again. Take a look at the checkmark icon next to the top view. This checkmark indicates that this view is being used. Let's drag in the front view now. Left click to place the view, drag up for a top view, drag to the side for a side view, and out this way for an isometric view. Let's accept this projected view, and let's take a look at the tree. Under Drawing View 1, we've got three child views. Drawing View 1 is our parent view. Once again, if we expand the tree's node, we can see the part name that was used to create this view. Let's click in blank space in the graphic area to deselect everything. And let's grab the view and reposition it. Notice that when I drag the parent view, the child view repositions also. I can only reposition the bottom and side views in one direction. The isometric view I can move freely on my sheet. Let's click in blank space to deselect everything and let's select the isometric view. I'm going to change the display style to shaded with edges. And let's click OK. There's another handy feature that we'll cover in this course, 3D Drawing View. This lets us easily rotate our view. We can zoom in and out as well. Pan also. And so on. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. And go to the Annotation tab. If you don't see the Annotation tab, just right-click on any tab, scroll down and select it from the list. Activate Smart Dimension. First, I'm going to create an Angular Dimension. Notice that as I move the dimension, I can position in four different ways. Let's left-click here to accept. Now I can grab and drag my dimension and I can position it out here, for example. Next, I want to dimension the distance between this line and this line. I'll select this line, and as I mouse around, I can choose a horizontal, a vertical, or an aligned dimension. To lock the dimension, right-click when you see the dimension you want, and now it's locked. Let's unlock our dimension with another right-click and position it here. 
Once again, I can grab and reposition the dimension. Okay, let's dimension this line. Once again, we can drag the mouse to position the dimension where we want it. Now I'm going to apply a radius dimension here. Maybe a diameter dimension instead. Let's insert another diameter dimension. Here we'll insert a radius dimension for this fillet. Since this fillet appears in many places, I'm going to insert an annotation here, TYP. That stands for typical. Let's insert an overall dimension here. And let's dimension this circle. And this one. An angular dimension here. Next, I'd like to insert a node on this chamfer. Let's right click. Let's try that again higher up because right now the selection goes right off the screen. Okay, right click down to annotations. Choose note and let's drop it here. Now we can enter our text. Let's say two millimeters. For this chamfer. We can format the text right here if we need to. This formatting editor works just like any text editor that you've worked with before. You can adjust the font, the size, etc. We're ready to click the green check mark in the note property manager. Let's go ahead and do that. Next, let's go to the front view. Let's activate the Smart Dimension tool. Let's dimension this distance, as well as the distance between these two lines. The overall dimension of the cylindrical segments. And this one right here. One more up top. Let's click OK. And this concludes our introduction to working with drawings in SOLIDWORKS. In our next tutorial, we'll continue learning about dimensioning our drawings.